the six types of residence permit here in Turkey, how to apply for residence permit, the most six required documents during the application, and last, the validity of the residence permit according to their types. So if you are interested in those one, please and please consider watching this video until the end. Welcome, my name is Ramadan from Ramosa TV. If you're new here, consider subscribing. By starting, a Turkish residence permit is an authorization to remain in Turkey for longer than three months in half a year under purposes as settlement, working, or studying. And it enables you like to live in Turkey, study, get married, or convert to Turkish driver's license, get tax number, open a bank account, purchase property, make investments, and much more. But if your purpose of moving to Turkey is working, you will only need a work permit, which also serves as a residence permit, and you don't need a residence permit. That means if you have a work permit, the residence permit is involved. The six types of residence permit are as follows. So depending on the visa type you hold, the purpose of application and the intended period of residence in Turkey, you can apply among the following. Number one, short term residence permit. This is the most and easiest among all other residence permits. You can get this if you have any of the following purposes. Either scientific research, to establish a commercial connection or business, participate in an in-service training program, to attend a Turkish learning course, or if you are a citizen of a Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus, or for education or similar pur purposes in the framework of student exchange program, or for tourism purposes, to receive medical treatment given that you do not carry one of the diseases which are considered as a threat to public health. So for all any of this reason you can be given the short-term residence permit. Family residence permit. This can be granted the foreign spouse of a Turkish national, his or her minor children, and his or her dependent foreign child. The sponsor must have enough income to support those applying for a residence permit in order for them to get the permit. Three. Student Residence Permit If you are in Turkey under the purpose of enrolling in primary or secondary education, if you already have a family residence permit, you will not need this one. But if you are just applying from your country and come here like to enroll in any university or schools and stuff like that, you will need this one. But you will be eligible to apply for this residence permit also if you are planning to start at the levels of associate degrees, bachelor degrees, master's degree, doctorate, specialty training in medicine, tools, you know, specialization and specialty training in dentistry in the higher education institutions in Turkey. Fourth, long term residence permit. If you have resided in Turkey, for at least eight years uninterruptedly under a residence permit issued by a by the Turkish authority, then you can lodge an application for Turkish long term permit, which has an indefinite validity. Note that if you have resided in Turkey for a specific period as a refugee, conditional refugee, and a secondary protection status holders, humanitarian residence permit holders, and temporary protection, you are not eligible to apply. So for those people who have been enrolled or stayed more than eight years, like uninterrupted living here in Turkey, you are eligible to apply for this 
and ended validity, the long-term residence permit. It is your chance. Humanitarian residence permit. You can apply for this residence permit if you are in Turkey without a valid visa or residence permit, but no deportation decision has been taken against you. You are waiting for your deportation or you cannot return to your country of residence due to emergency reasons. So you can apply for this humanitarian residence permit. And the last is the residence permit for victims of human trafficking. If you are a victim of human trafficking and you are in Turkey, you can apply for this residence permit. Next step is how to apply. To apply for the Turkish residence permit, you need to follow a number of procedures. The first thing you should know is that you must apply for a residence permit within a month of arrival in Turkey and not late than that. Decide for which type of residence permit you want to apply and then complete the online application at the website of the Turkish Ministry of Interior. You'll have to give your names, your surname, date of birth, parents' name, nationality and contact info. Then you should go to the central appointment system website and make an appointment at the nearest office of Director General of Migration Management. In fact, you'll need to complete a form with your information and addresses in Turkey. Then you'll be presented with the address of the nearest Director General of Migration Management office and the list of the required documents, the available dates and times for the appointment and the application, and the card fee that you are to pay. Let's flick to the required documents for the Turkey residence permit. On the day of your appointment, you'll need to submit several documents at the nearest office of the Directorate General of Migration Management. The required documents are as follows. Number one, the residence permit application form filled from the online and printed out four biometric photographs original passport, notarized copy of passport or travel document, proof of sufficient and sustainable financial resource, resources for the duration of the stay. You must prove you have in your bank at least 500 euros for each month you spend in Turkey or present proof that you receive that amount monthly. Evidence of health insurance is also required and b according to the to your situation the type of residence permit you are applying for and your nationality you may have to submit additional documents so when filling the form the required documents some of them might pop out from there from their website the validity depends on the type of the permit you are holding for short term residence permit it can be issued for a maximum of two years at a time for long term residence permit are issued with indefinite validity short term we said as maybe you wanna attend the language course like that and um, the student residence permit valid this depend on the length of studies if like it exceed six years you will be given up to six years or less or it will be given less like from four months two three that way the if education is less than one year the residence permit period cannot exceed the education period so the family residence permit may be issued for a period not exceeding the three years at a time the humanitarian residence permit is granted and extended for a maximum period of one year and the human trafficking victim residence permit is issued for a period of 30 days 
but also like this short term might be short for four months you know six months to one year or extend like that one so that was all about today if you're new here consider subscribing and i'll see you in next video